I'm a reporter and I take my job very seriously. So it's a bit difficult for me to even report. That's the leader of the Republican Party in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, giving his closing argument to the American people. Yes, you see what he's doing. And yes, he is doing that. I'll, I'll provide a little bit of the context, but there really isn't that much. He is performing yes on the microphone. You, you, you see it with your own eyes. So before that happened, Donald Trump was having microphone issues. And so he was saying like, hello, hello, can you hear me here? Play this clip. Hello? Is that better? Is that better? That's terrible. Is that better back there? Was that yes or no? Huh? What crap. The only thing I ask for is a mic. You don't have to give me, I don't even need a stage. I don't give a damn. Give me a good mic. And I went through two of these today. And it knocks the hell out of your throat. But so far, I'm and then so his microphone wasn't really working that well. He said, and he said that his beautiful speech in Madison Square Garden, he called it like a perfect event. And he said the microphone was working well there. Here, play that clip. They don't, they don't get it. Well, the mic at Madison Square Garden worked very well. Was that a great event? But honestly. It was basically the same, the same crowd as you have here, right? Same. And then so he continued to whine about the mic. He said the mic stinks. And then he says he's not going to pay the contractors because he didn't like the mic. Here, play this clip. We've seen that stuff happen. We don't want to do that. Oh, the mic. Yeah, I think the mic stinks. I think it stinks. Uh, crazy. Crazy. Oh, that's what the, I was wondering what the hell they were shouting. I think this mic stinks, by the way. And then we don't pay the contractor. I say, don't pay the contractor. Then they write a story. Trump doesn't pay his bills. He's a bad guy. No. And then he told the audience he was going to, quote, knock the hell out of the workers backstage. He's going to knock the hell out of the people backstage who set up the mic and physically assault them, he said. Here, play the clip. Thank you very much. Fix the mic. Fix the mic. Uh -huh. You got to be kidding. Do you want to see me knock the hell out of people backstage? You want to see me? I don't mind if they want to come up a little forward or something, but it's a pretty stupid situation, but that's okay. I get so angry. I'm up here seething. I'm seething. I'm working my ass off with this stupid mic. I'm blowing out my left arm. Now I'm going to blow out my right arm, and I'm blowing out my damn throat, too, because these stupid people. So, so then... After that happened, he thought it wise to perform oral sex on the air by the microphone. Here, play the clip. So, I go. Yeah, so as Asharangapa says, how is this man actually a viable candidate for president of the effing United States for the love of God, America? To the rest of the world, we are deeply sorry, and we hope to sort this out soon. Uh, Ellie Mastal goes, we are at the dick-sucking part of Trump's closing argument. Wonder what the MAGAs will dress up as now to own the libs. JP, who's a former Trump supporter, says Trump is stroking the microphone and pretending to suck it like a dong on stage at his rally. And the MAGA crowd is cheering. That just happened. This is absolutely pathetic. It is pathetic. Then he asks the audience, 
if there are if there are any terrorists in the audience. Goes any terrorists here? Here, play the clip. They're destroying our country. They're putting dangerous people. Look at these beautiful people. You'll be interspersed with murderers, drug dealers, terrorists. Do we have any in the house right now? Are there any people? Over the past four years, come on. So then he talks more about the microphone and he says that we've done three rallies today. That was his second event. He's only done two rallies. Here, play the clip. No, no, Mike is terrible. It was, I had another one today. You know what? I've done three of these today. Somebody said. Then Donald Trump holds up that small microphone and he says, this is like weightlifting. This sucker is very heavy. Here, play the clip. You know, I've never held a microphone up so long in my damn life. It's like I'm weightlifting. This sucker is heavy. But and then he says, they're saying I'm cognitively impaired, but I'm not cognitively impaired. Here, play this clip. They're saying. He's cognitively impaired and physically impaired. There's something wrong with them all because I have guys that are stupid back there. All right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, right? What a shame. But we're going to come back. I'm going to give you a free performance back in that corner. you got a bad area back there. But I think this is better. I think it's probably better. Then he says, do you want to watch me do the weave? I will do the weave. The weave, they say the weave. Do you want to watch me weave? Here, play the clip. Popular. This is the weave, you know, a little weave, right? You know, they used to say, these are stupid people. They used to say, he rambled. I don't ramble. I do a weave. You know what a weave is? It's a story. And as you're telling the story, you realize that there's a little offshoot. Go up here. But the key is then you have to come back. And then you're doing the story, you're getting down to bottom line, and boom, you do another little weave. Then sometimes you do a weave off a weave. It's here, and then, and then back. It's called the weave. And one guy got it right, a writer. They said, Trump is a totally brilliant guy. He said, he's the most, I've never said anything. Because you always have to end up in the right place, or then you're rambling, you know? Then you're rambling. But no, I have a, a very, very fertile, very fertile brain. But it's the weave, and we do it, and it covers a lot of territory. This way, you tell one story, and you cover. A, you, really, it's like 15 subplots, but you get down to the final answer. And they, actually, they're starting to say. And then he forgets that he's on camera during a video presentation. And then he adjusts his dentures, and then people start leaving behind him, where he starts saying that he wants to protect the women. I want to protect the women in many ways, he says. Here, play this clip. I said, no, I want to protect the women of our country. I want to protect them in many ways. I want to protect them in many ways, but some of the ways are suburban housewives. They say they don't like me. I think they do like me because, because, thank you. <laughs> she said, I love you. No. Where do you live? Where, what part of Westchester do you live? And then he calls Governor Pritzker fat and disgusting. Play this clip. Because he was not very good and he ends up running for governor because he's got money. But he's terrible. But I'm not allowed to use the fat word. That's the other word you cannot use. You are not allowed to use the fat word, so I will not do it. But that guy is disgusting. Everything comes. And then he says that climate change doesn't matter and doesn't exist and that the and that the ocean will rise and, and, and who the hell cares? He says, play it. It used to be global warming and that wasn't working because we're actually cooling. So we have that. But, you know, the biggest warming problem we have is nuclear warming. So they talk all the time about the ocean will rise in 500 years, one eighth of an inch. Who the hell cares? Okay. Who the hell? And, and, and just so you, and just so you see this, this he he did this earlier also. This is this is part of his shtick. So when he was, so I showed you he was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but earlier in the day he was in Warren, Michigan, 
And he also told uh, he also told his staff not to pay the workers at the venue. Play this clip. That's better with a mic. That's better. Thank you, backstage. These mic guys, I'm telling you, I'm having a lot of problems with mics lately. I'm not happy. Get yourself a new contractor, please. And don't pay the bill for this contractor. And then they'll write a story. Trump doesn't pay bills. I pay bills. You know what I do? I pay more than I'm supposed to when they can do a good job. But when they don't do a good job, don't pay your damn bill. That's my first. And then he got distracted from the teleprompter and said that he's studying his hair and his hair doesn't look so just doesn't look so good today. I'm studying my hair. It looks not so good today. It's not a good hair day, but who cares? Not a good hair day for me. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. I don't want to look. Uh, contrast that with Vice President Kamala Harris, and here's her speech about giving a middle-class tax cut to over 100 million Americans. Play this clip. Imagine that for a minute, right? January 20th, Oval Office. It's either going to be him sitting in there, pouring over and stewing over his enemies list, or when I am elected, it will be me walking in there on your behalf, working on my to-do list. Because we got work to do. Because we have work to do. And at the top of my list is bringing down the cost of living for you. That will be my focus every single day as president, including I will give a middle class tax cut to over 100 million Americans. We will enact the first ever federal ban on corporate price gouging on groceries. And fight to make sure that hardworking Americans can actually afford a place to live. And I think it's only appropriate that I play this Republican Georgia voter on Fox who says, I'm a conservative. I can't, I can't, I can't vote for this guy. Okay, I can't vote for this guy. Here, play the clip. Although I am uh, by history a conservative, um, but I do believe that the values um, that Trump is currently representing are not mine. Uh... I, I yeah, I'm a bit at a loss. I'm a bit at a loss uh, for words here. I, I don't even know what that was that we watched, but that's the leader of the that's the leader of the Republican Party, um, right there. Choose wisely. Thanks for watching. Real quick, Meta just changed their algorithm to suppress political content. Please follow our Instagram at Midas Touch right now as we head towards 400,000 followers so you don't miss a beat.